Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ryan here and today I'm going to talk about habits. The three-step habit loop. And that is cue, routine, and reward. Uh, it's why we do anything. We have these automatic patterns of behavior uh, and it really surrounds around our day. And I want to talk about this because every time I read personal development, this is actually the book I'm into right now, which is Ray Dalio's Principles, pretty pretty awesome book. Just, I finished it already, audio book, but I still bought it because I love it so much. I have the Kindle book, the audio book, the physical book. I'm just really into books. Um, but he talks about another book, which is The Power of Habit, another amazing book. If you haven't read that book, it is amazing. And um, the main thing that I want to talk about and what I want to learn uh, and understand is the habit loop. Why is it... We do the things that we do on a regular basis. And there are three steps. There's the cue, there's the routine, and then there's the reward. And when you really think about this process, it's actually really hard to do, to figure out what it is that causes you to get motivated to do things. But uh, I'll share with one that you can probably all relate with, a routine or a habit that we all get. And that is the cue. What is the cue, the signal that makes you do something? And and just to actually, I'm going to read this part in the book because in this book he he talks a little bit about it because it's it's just a it just talks about Charles Duhigg's book, uh, the power of habit. But it says here, um, then I read Charles Duhigg's best-selling book, The Power of Habit, which really opened my eyes. I recommend that you read it yourself. Okay, um, Duhigg's core idea is the role of the three-step habit loop. The first step is a cue, some trigger that tells your body to go into automatic mode. That's really important. You go into automatic mode, a cue that puts you into automatic mode. And then step two is the routine, which can be physical, mental, or emotional. So really, the, the routine that kicks in could be like something that you feel. It could be fear. It could be hunger. It could be um, motivation, you know. And then there is, and finally, there's the reward, which helps your brain figure out if you should remember this routine or how you should remember this routine. So when something is painful or negative or something you don't like, you'll remember in your mind not to do that again, right? Um, but, but using boredom as an example, that's a cue. What happens when there's a cue that occurs when you're bored? And typically, what most of us do is we grab this thing right here, which is our smartphone, right? We, gra we grab our smartphone because we have this cue that kicks a routine in. Then you open your phone. And what's the reward when you open your phone? Well, you typically will browse social media, check your email, or play a game. And there you get some sort of buzz or some sort of uh, information buzz entertainment. And even within that, there's many habits. Like the moment you unlock your phone, there's probably something on the page or on the front page that you click on right right away. You just press on it automatically. Um, you, you go to that program immediately because it's been sort of automatic in your behavior. And that's kind of why it's always best to, I try not to have Facebook on my phone. Like literally, like Facebook is the app I look at quite often and I try not to. But I have to fight it almost every single time. But when you're trying to figure out your cues, routines, and rewards, honestly, I just want to talk about this. Because, you know, if the cues, routines, and rewards in your life, they essentially determine like, how successful or unsuccessful you're going to be. They determine if you're fat. They determine if you're skinny. They determine if you make a lot of money. They determine if you save money. Uh, they determine if you have a good relationship and if you're in a bad relationship. And, you know, often when we talk about good routines or good habits and bad habits, this habit loop, a lot of us are fighting our own um, evolution evolutionary biology, which is that, that desire to fight, right? And if you're in a relationship, it's very easy to, like, defend yourself or, you know, um, justify your cause versus listening, right? That's a habit. It's hard because when you are feeling attacked, you have no choice but to respond in that way. That's just an example. Um, another example is when you get hungry, you know, you look for food, right? I don't know exactly where I'm going with this, but what are your habits? You know, um, I know one of the things that uh, I like to know actually what your habits are. What do you do that that makes you successful, make you good at what you do, right? That most people don't, right? If I had to choose for myself, uh, it's definitely exercising. I exercise every day. Um, I think about exercising a lot. 
I think about being fat a lot, and I don't like being fat. So, I um so in a way, the fear of being fat is a big motivator. Uh, I'm 35, but as I get older, I'm pretty sure in the next couple of years, I'm gonna start feeling the feeling of the fear of getting old. That's gonna motivate me to work out. But overall, I have this basically sort of this negative stick that's telling me to go exercise. Um, but what that's the fear that's pushing me, right? That's not the only reason, but that's just one of the reasons. It's a very strong reason. Another reason is uh, my work day. You know, I, I work at a gym. You know, I train clients still. And usually after I train my first client, I always work out. You know, I have to, I have to work out after I train a client. It's just like something that I always do. Um, but what I usually do now is I actually do a little bit of computer work first, and then I, then I work out. But I always work out. And what's the cue? The cue for me is the moment I finish training a client, it's time to exercise. Or the moment I finish, it's almost like to me, working out is sort of the reward, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't know what it is because to a lot of people, working out is like so painful and annoying and and people just, I, know, I mean, we're all, you see when people say they're lazy, you know, I, I think everybody, everybody is lazy, let's face it. We are designed really just to conserve energy as much as possible. Um, most of us are just really good at being lazy because we want to go the shortest route possible to get what we need as fast as we possibly can. That's why we create microwaves. That's why we have personal trainers. That's why we have quick fix diets. And that's why we have supplements and magic pills because we're lazy and impatient. And the only real way to sort of master this is to instill good habits that build upon this goal of yours right this thing that you want to accomplish see every time i talk about this or try to write about this i don't even know what the cues and routines and rewards that i have right i just know like honestly i have to say one of my cues is i don't like being bored right that's my thing i hate being bored so i always plan ahead like I'm listening to an audiobook or i'm thinking about what i'm going to write about or i'm thinking about what i'm going to work on i'm thinking about something that's motivating me that i find interesting right um I'm also pretty good about not playing video games or play, or or basically good at not doing things that are essentially not good for my future. How no, that's not necessarily the way I look at it. Uh, for me, anyways, I'm pretty good about not doing the things that don't serve me for the future. Like, for example, watching TV, watching, um, playing video games, uh, stuff like that, because. Although those things are fun and I will do that from time to time, I rarely do because it has to have a dual purpose, right? So a lot of the time, like for example, going to watch a movie, I'm spending time with my family. It has to have some other purpose. It can't just be for that reason. I know a lot of people will probably disagree with this, but that's just sort of my obsessive compulsiveness with like trying to get better every single day. Um, and I just like building myself, right? It's just building my knowledge base, building my abilities, just building my habits. And most of the time, I feel like I'm just trying to fight doing all the bad things because it's like a stop doing list, right? Um, like I like, I remember every Wednesday, there's this ad that comes out for fries and I always like looking at it, right? Um, and, I, and it took me a while to stop looking, you know? Uh, for a while, I was on this little Amazon binge spree buying little random things here and there. Uh, and I had to stop doing that. So I'm pretty good at like just telling myself, at the moment I start to get sucked into something, I'll, I'll stop. It's kind of one of the reasons why I don't want to watch Breaking Bad because I know Breaking Bad is an amazing show. I've heard so much about it, but we haven't watched it. It's too long of a, it's too long of a show and it's going to lead to a lot of very late nights of binge watching. Anyways, tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. If you've read the book Power of Habit or if you're with this book, Principles by Ray Dalio, like I'd like to know. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the next video.